Hey everyone! In this video, I'll be doing a walkthrough of an oil painting I did of a saguaro cactus. I took this photo a few years ago in the Saguaro National Park and have always wanted to do a painting of it. The colors and medium I used for this painting are listed here. My goal isn't to copy the photo exactly, but more to capture the mood and to practice painting cloudy skies. This is a gessoed canvas. First, I'm dividing it into thirds and down the middle to guide my composition. Then, I'm drawing out the basic shapes and sectioning out the land and sky. I'm using a light-colored paint marker to do this. I'm starting out by mixing a gray for the clouds, which I'm seeing some purple in. So I'm starting with blue and white and adding Van Dyke Brown, which is a warm black, so that the gray turns out warmer. When mixing my blues, I'm keeping the gray nearby so that I can blend them easily. I see a faint peach color in this bright area of the sky and a bit in the snow, so I'm using magenta, yellow, and white. Here I'm using a mop brush for blending and softening the clouds. I'm being gentle but intentional with my strokes to achieve certain cloud shapes. I'm going to put down a layer of sienna here so the warmth peaks through later when I paint over it. To start on the cactus, I'm mixing an olive green using blue, yellow, burnt sienna, and white. This color will be added to the grass as well. Here I'm going to focus on darkening some of my values. I'm still learning to get them right the first time so that I can avoid having to make these corrections midway through my painting. It's helpful to keep a pair of tweezers nearby because sometimes hairs might come off of the brush and get stuck on your painting. The sky is very moody, and I want to capture the contrast in colors while also maintaining that soft, wispy cloud texture. It took a lot of time and patience to strike this balance. For the shading of the cactus, I used Van Dyke brown and black for the dark values, which helped maintain the earthy tones. I needed both warm and cool olive greens as well as a yellow warmed with sienna to capture the lighter values. I chose not to get too detailed with the textures and tried to just capture the gist. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to painting with you again soon.